So uh, we go into the old good corn, bread, and fed Iowa Hawkeyes slash Cyclones. So out there, uh, former Iowa wide receiver Arlen Bruce the Fourth is part of a gambling scandal that has named 15 combined players to the two universities between the Hawkeyes and the Cyclones who have been charged with records tampering and aggravated misdemeanors for acting betting on games that they participated in. Wow. Now, when there's 15 of these guys, there's a reason why Arlen, good old Arlen, stands out. Arlen was a very good wide receiver that transferred to Oklahoma State after the whole scandal. And he had one rushing touchdown the entire season. Of course, he's a wide receiver. It was happened to be against the Northwestern Wildcats with less than six minutes to go in the game while Iowa was up 26 to 7. This feller gets an end around jet sweep, makes a crazy move, runs to the end zone, scores. They're a meaningless touchdown that there was nothing else after this and uh, doesn't celebrate, drops the ball, does not look happy in the video. It's funny, the video, when they show it back. Because this man bet on the under and the line happened to be 37.5. Now he took the under on his only rushing touchdown in his collegiate career on an end around to screw his own bet. So shout out this guy with no celebration. When they play it back, you can see it immediately. He drops the ball and his teammates are like going nuts. And because he just scored, he's a receiver that scored a rushing touchdown. Like that hypes up everybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's not hype. He's like getting, he's just walking back to the sideline because this Chuchulamingia (laughs) just ruined his bet. You got to be kidding me. Oh, I cannot wait. I, I've got to see this. I, I'll it's be awesome. looking at the, the second we get done recording, dude. I'll be looking at <laughs> That's great. 15 yeah. players. That's wild, dude. That's big. Yeah. Yep. That's big. So, so, Steve, so what do you mean happened? He so, they bet on his team mm-hmm. and he went against the bet. So it was supposed exactly. he bet on what they call the over under. So one bet it's they set a point line, right? A total from both teams. And if you go over that you win. And if you go under, you 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 know, you can bet the over or the under of that exact spot. And the spot was thirty seven yeah. points. And they were gonna he was gonna he took the under of thirty seven. He was gonna win that bet. And his own self ran, ran in a touchdown or a score that made him lose that bet and that point total go from here. Where he won to over, where he doesn't win. Right. Oh, what a wanker. <laughs> yeah. He's definitely a wanker. Yeah. 100%. What a wanker. Yeah. Man, <laughs> dude. So, but when you say, Steve, just to clarify, uh, sure. Iowa, Iowa, Iowa is yes. the Hawkeyes and mm-hmm. Iowa State's the Cyclones. Is that the right? Cyclones, correct. Okay. So I mean, too. Also, uh, Iowa football has been really good in the last. They're in ten, the Big Ten, say, yes. Yeah, but they've been a powerhouse the last like ten years. Oh, yeah. We'll say monster oh, yeah. defenses. A yep. bunch of good tight ends have come out of Iowa. Like yep. they've been playing good ball. Uh, for we're sure. so Sue for uh, we're talking about college football in America. So you might you know you might not know that. Yeah. Part. Yeah. Which no, is okay. I don't. I know you've got a lot of different things in American football <laughs> and. I don't understand the game whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I know, so I, there's a famous clip of basketball used to be super corrupt with the betting. And I don't know who it is, but there's a famous clip of a guy who he was, he was like a center or something legit caught a ball and his team was down by two and they could only win by like, or his team was up by three and they could only win by one. He had the ball oh and took it and scored it on his own net in a game oh. at the end so he oh. would win his bet. Yeah, oh. like legit did that in a pro basketball game. This is it back in like the 70s. When and this is the exact wild. opposite. This absolute horse's ass went, oh, my God, I'm going to score a rushing touchdown the second because, you know, all the adrenaline. You're in yeah. the stadium and Hawkeye yeah. stadiums like a, it was at uh, Iowa. Wild stadium to be in, mm-hmm. even though it's a meaningless touchdown. He's so hyped. And then it kicked in that he just probably lost. He doesn't know how much. He's a, I don't know, he's a student athlete. I'm going to assume he's not making that much money because he also wasn't a superstar going to the NFL that has like an NIL deal. So, of course, he dropped the ball and was just his head went down immediately. The body language, fantastic. Didn't they call that guy headache, right? 
the Arizona State guy who bet on all that. Remember, did you yeah, see that Netflix yeah, documentary? Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah. Netflix. That, do- yeah, that one was crazy. Nineteen ninety four, yeah. uh, Arizona State basketball. That was, that was a really good one. good one. Yeah. So there's good stuff. Uh, yeah. Shout out. I mean, he's probably going to play the card of like. Uh, well, I guess he can't play it anymore because if he was better, he'd gotten an nil deal. So hundred you know, percent. The card of like they don't pay me, so I have to get yep. him. Blah blah blah. blah. That's Wait, off the table. So real, real quick, Steve. You yes. said he transferred to Oklahoma, so he is still going to play? For sure. So he's uh, he's been charged with these misdemeanors, nothing's a felony, and he has transferred through the portal to Oklahoma State. He's oh, now okay. at the uh, – yeah, he's over at Oklahoma State with the Cowboys. Right. Got it. Right. Dang. 